Hello and welcome. This is the sentence I say almost in every video tutorial I have made so far. So this video is going to be different. I would like to take a moment and thanks everybody who are a part of 20,000 subscribers. So in this video, I want to share some of my personal experience throughout my programming journey, also some tips and I will answer some of the common questions about programming. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do. And by the time you watch this video, the Shopify app development with Laravel course should be on the channel completely free. I'm going to teach you how to make money from your Laravel skill and I will teach you how to build a business around it. In the future video, I'm going to share more video about getting more freelance projects, starting your own business and earning extra money as a programmer. Believe it or not, in this pandemic time, I make almost twice the amount of money than usual. I know most people lost their job. But programming is different. When you're a programmer, you have a lot of opportunities. You can start your own business. Nowadays, there are many local businesses who want to migrate to online shops. So the only person who can help them is programmers. So there is a lot of opportunity for you to help them grow their business online. Aside from that, I want to answer some of the common questions around programming that people ask me a lot. Now, 20,000 subscribers might not be much, but I want to thank each and every one of you for being a part of it i'm happy like i'm like bringing impact to life of 20000 people or more than that because i'm teaching you for free and teaching you how to make money as a programmer that is the thing that makes me happy now some of the common question i get around programming the people who want to start or who are in the middle of their work is programming easy is it worth doing is it interesting i would say it depends on you if you like doing something you may not find it difficult but when people ask me is programming hard i will say no because i loved my job and back in the days i was working on a programming i loved what i was doing i used to stay late up until like three o'clock and two o'clock and working on this tutorial that tutorial completing this project that project because i loved what i did i never feel programming is something hard or difficult it might be different for some people it might be boring for some people but for me it was always interesting and there are a lot of people in my life who are who are thinking like where you are not going to uni you are not going to college and how you are going to get a job in the future i would say i am studying a com computer science like i'm doing self-study they would say with self-study you cannot find a job because you don't have a degree now i do have a job i make more than 100k per year and i'm happy with that but i never like become like satisfied of saying okay i make more than 100k and that's enough because I am different. I want to start my own business. I want to make more money. I want to bring impact to the lives of more people. Now, if you think programming is something difficult, you may not be interested in that. Believe it or not, I didn't watch TV for seven years. And when I say this to people, some people do not believe it. For seven years, we didn't have TV in our home. And I was living in Pakistan. And that's why we didn't have a TV. We thought like, I'm not going to be permanent in there. So my mom didn't buy the TV. So I think that was something good that happened to me. We had a shared computer that my brother or sister were also using it. That is how I learned programming. If you think you don't have a computer, think about it. Four of our brothers are using the same laptop in 24 hours. If you divide it, it would be like four hours per person. But I used to take more than four hours out of it. I used to work like eight hours on computer learning this programming language, that programming language working on this and that project that is how i learned it it is not only about programming that gets difficult at some point in every subject it is going to be difficult but you have to overcome that difficulties once you reach to the peak of the mountain the rest will be easy it, this is the same thing for programming once you become like an intermediate and advanced programmer then it will be a lot easy now one thing i want to tell you being a mediocre developer for 10 years does not make you senior developer I heard this quote somewhere on Twitter, but it was very interesting. Like some people are mediocre and they never want to improve their skill. What they know and they are like happy with that and they are never going to learn something new. They say, okay, I know HTML, CSS and JavaScript, that's enough. And that does not make you senior in the next 10 years. You have to research beyond that. I would say it is a lot of hard work and dedication and it is not something easy. If you love what you do, you never feel it was something difficult. The other question I get a lot around for programming is how is the future of it? Now think about it. Will the world will get worse than this? Like everywhere is like lockdown and everyone should work from home. And if you are working somewhere that you cannot work from home, then you cannot go to the world. But for programmers, it is different. You can always 
come with a solution, build a service, and fix an issue in the society. If you see any issues, you can fix it with your coding skill, you can fix it with your magic hand, and that is how programmers find solution for everything. And you can guess the future. And that's it for this video. I want to say thank you for everyone, again, for being a part of it. And by the time you watch this video, the course should be on the channel and then you can go and watch it. And I'm going to create more content about how to make money as a programmer, how to get started. And there are so many tips nobody told me when I started programming. If I knew this one, I would start a lot early and apply them in my career. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.